What's up, freaks? We're getting ready for a early Halloween or whatever the hell it says. Easter, what the hell is today? Thanksgiving. What's today? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Early morning Thanksgiving workout. It is 8 a.m. on the West Coast, 11 a.m. East Coast. We are going to get it in. We're going to burn some fat. It's, it's a little colder here in Southern California. It dropped below 70 degrees. That's like winter time. But we are going to get in. Listen how this workout's going to go. Check this out. Once we get started, all you need is one single dumbbell and a medicine ball. If you don't have that, get a substitution. But all you need is a single medicine ball and a single dumbbell. That's it. You're only going to need those for part of the workout. You're going to be going back and forth with them. But here's how it's going to work. Because I know that you motherfuckers are going to be slobbing and, 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 and shoving stuff into your pie holster today. So what we're going to do is we are going to be training for the entire... Once we start, there's no break. There's no rest. There's no stopping of the movement. There's no even, even resting for a second. It's going to be straight through from the second we start to the second we finish. It's going to be straight through. So you will not have a rest. If you need to drink some water, you better be doing it while you're doing the whatever exercise we're on. You better just figure it out. Literally no stopping, no breaks. That's the way it needs to go because we need you moving. You need to be dripping sweat. You need to burn like 10,000 calories in this in this workout for the shit you're about to shovel in your face today. So we are going to be not stopping at all from the second we start. And I'll be start, starting off. We're going to start obviously getting warmed up. But even the warm-up, once we start moving from that warm-up, you will not be able to stop moving. Do not stop. Do not cheat. I'll be watching through that damn internet internet phone to make sure you're not screwing around. So once we get rolling here in a couple of seconds, it's gonna give a couple more seconds for a few people to get on here. We got six or 10 different devices recording right now. So I just wanna give a couple more seconds to get on there. Get your single dumbbell and a medicine ball. That's all you need, a single dumbbell, one dumbbell and a medicine ball. Dumbbell should be light to medium. I'm using a 20 pound dumbbell, so I'm pretty weak sucker. So you decide what you weight you think you need according to that if I'm using a 20. And then medicine ball, I have like a 15, I think, whatever it is. If you don't have that stuff, just get a substitution for it. We're going to get started here in about 30 seconds. Just going to give you a couple more seconds to get on here on all these different screens as, we're, as we see some check-ins coming in on these different screens. While we're waiting here, put down the comments below. First, give a thumbs up, give a like, share this video so some of your family and friends that are come over and stuff their faces with you can burn this calories ahead of time. You need to kill that turkey before you eat the damn turkey. So we're going to kill it right now. And then put a comment below where you are doing this workout from and whether you're doing it live or recording because it is, it's going to stay on here and record it obviously for a while. So once we get started, you got to pay attention because you have to hear the next exercise while you're doing an exercise. You have to hear the next one. Then we'll give you a three second countdown to start the next exercise. So you'll see how it's gonna go even in the warm up. But basically, I'll be starting with some, some exercises, right? As we're doing it, I'll let you know who's gonna be leading next. Let's say it's gonna be the boy or the Russian. Then they'll tell you ahead of time, while we're still on the exercise that I have us doing, they'll tell you what's coming up, the exercise coming up, and they'll give you a three second countdown, and that next person's gonna take over, and we're just gonna keep rotating. So it's a non-stop flow. It's not, you're not going to know how long each exercise is going to take. You're not going to know how many exercises there are from in each segment. You're also not going to know how many reps there are. You're not going to know the order of the exercises. It's going to be completely different than you're used to. It's going to be non-freaking stop, so there's no time for bullshitting. Like, literally, you better have your drink next to you. If you're doing a push-up and you decide that you think you need a water break because you're just going to pass out because you're so thirsty, you better do that one arm fucking push-up while you're sipping your water. All right, so we're going to start off with... A warm up, and we're gonna don't forget once we start moving right now. So, I'm giving you a couple seconds before we get started so you can get it into your head that once we start moving, there is zero stop stopping, it needs to be constant movement, constant work, like not even standing still for a second. And when in doubt, if you're having you're not it's not connecting with the exercises or some reason your, your internet's frozen, you better be doing jumping jacks in place or some high knees or some shit. You better be moving non stop. So, let's get rolling. We're gonna start. Right off the bat, and now once we start moving, we don't stop moving. We're gonna start walking forward with a knee hug. Walking forward with a knee hug. So hug your knee to your chest, walking forward, then we're gonna walk backwards with a quad stretch. So while, think about this like right now while we're doing this quad stretch. Before we're done with it, I'm gonna tell you what's coming up next. The same way the exercises are gonna go. So now we're gonna go forward knee hug. 
in three, two, one, and go. Forward knee hugs. So you see how we're still on one exercise. I'm telling you what's coming next. Just so you can prepare. Backwards quad stretch coming up. In three, two, one, and go. Backwards quad stretch. Stretch your quad. Hold it there for one to three seconds, but keep moving. We are moving here. Moving. Are you going to spread your feet apart in place and reach down to the floor? Feet apart, reach down to the floor, reach overhead. Reach out to your right foot, reach your arms out to the side. Middle, up, left, out. Middle, up, right, out. Middle, up. We're going to get a few of these. You need to stretch those hamstrings and lower back out. Middle, and up, right, out, middle, up, left, out, a couple more times, middle, up, right, out, keep rolling on your own pace so I can tell you what's coming up next, so sometimes I'll have to stop talking and you have to keep doing the exercise on your own so I can tell you what's coming next, you're going to be doing shoulder stretches, a chest fling with a shoulder stretch coming up while you're walking forward and backwards, go, go, right here. Fling it, fling it. Shoulder and chest ring going forward. And still coming backwards. Keep it moving. We are just loosening up. But the work does not stop. You are not allowed to stop moving. Just punch me. No. Freaking Russian just punched me. No, my other leg. Keep moving forward. All right, now you're going to stretch your right shoulder. Hold your right shoulder while you're walking backwards. And then left shoulder, fling it open. Left shoulder while you're coming forward. Fling it. See, I'm not stopping moving. You need to keep freaking moving, freaks. Fling it. I bet some of these neighbors are still sleeping. We're going to wake those fuckers up. Stretch the right shoulder while you're walking backwards. You're just getting ready to move. Just getting moving. Left coming forward. Fling it. Right. Fling it. Keep working. Keep moving. Keep moving. Just getting the blood flowing, just getting warmed up, getting those muscles ready to work, because we're going to be moving for 60 minutes straight. Zero break, zero stopping even. We are not even going to be stopping. No stopping of the movement. All right, we're going to go right into just legs only jacks to the side. Go. If you're ever in doubt, there's ever a pause in between, so we're doing our legs only on jacks. 60 minutes straight of movement. Do not stop moving. All your damn videos that are out there. Surrounded by freaking phones and tablets and TV screens. Jacks out to the side. Don't forget, the movement's not going to stop. We're going straight for 60 seconds. So if you're already starting to breathe heavy, you're like, wow, I'm getting out of breath. You are screwed. Pop it out. We're going to go front to back with the feet here in a second. Front to back. Go. Front to back. So now the feet are going front to back. Split jack. Just getting those calves and legs warmed up. Getting your body temperature up. Blood flowing. After this, we're gonna do a low chest fling up to a tricep stretch, when I call it. So you're gonna fling your chest down and up to a tricep stretch. Three, two, one, go. So low chest fling, stretch the right tricep. Low chest fling, stretch the left tricep. Fling it. See, with all this non-stop moving, we need to take our time getting the entire freaking body warmed up. Fling it. Open it up. Open it. Once we stop this, we're going to go to a walking backwards hamstring stretch. Walking backwards hamstring stretch coming up. As we continue getting warmed up, we're getting the entire body moving. Because we cannot stop moving. Walking backwards hamstring stretch in three, Two, one, go. So hamstring, you lean forward, stretch that hamstring, fling the chest open. Lean forward, stretch the other hamstring, fling it open. Hamstring, fling it all the way back. You're gonna come forward with a glute stretch. Pulling your leg up, go. Walking forward, right here, glute stretch. Pulling underneath your ankle, bringing that leg up and out. Getting your shins parallel to the floor. And then we're gonna, once you're out of space, you're going to go back to that hamstring stretch. So on your own, you switch if you have to. Hamstring stretch, go. So when it's two exercises like this, 
You just switch on your own if you're out of room. Don't stand still. You have a different size space that you're moving in. Just getting the body moving. And glute stretch going forward. Go. Non-stop movement. You are not stopping. No matter what. Like right now, my shoe is a little loose. So I have to do it while it's in the air just to tie it up. Look at that, while it's in the air. Because if I stop to reach down to do it, technically I'll be stopping. So at least I'm standing on one leg while I'm stretching, it counts as movement. Keep it moving. Hamstring going backwards. All right, let's go. We're going to loosen up your hips and go to front kicks. Go, three, two, one, go, front kicks. Pump that leg in there, bend the knee and extend. We're about three minutes in, only 57 minutes to go of non-stop work. Good luck, good luck, sucker. Bend that knee and extend. Hands are up, abs are strong, bend and extend. Just warming up. It's all still just a warm up. Anger right to a squat. Squat, body weight squat, go. Down the hips and heels, head up, chest out. Low, 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 in through your nose down, out through your mouth up. Breathe it out. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go squat to front kick. So squat, front kick right. Squat, front kick left. Control it down. Breathe out as you kick. Squat, kick. And if you are getting warmed up and you need to strip, you better be doing it. While you're doing the exercise, I'm gonna fall over on my face, I'm trying to squat the front kick while I take the shirt off. And every piece of clothing comes off, I expect to get a thumbs up and a dollar sent to me. Send those dollar bills. Russian, you're up next. You're up next, Russian. Front and back jumping jacks in three, just we did that low, already. lower body. We did Three. that already. We did that already. Front and back split jacks. Oh my god, we did that already. Crisscross jacks. Coming up in three, two, one. Lower body only. So that's the other thing. We can't repeat any of the exercises unless we're using the equipment. Then we can repeat similar exercises if it's a little different. Or using the ball or the or the dumbbell. Legs only, light on the ball of your feet, out and in. We're getting Facebook can't see your legs. Let's go wide, right, right leg in front. Wide, then left leg in front when they come together, crisscrossing. Facebook can't see the feet. That's how you're doing it. Instagram can see. Start checking your exercise in your head. What's your turn, by the way, sir? A few of them, because what if they get taken before it's your fix turn? my hair. Why I'm doing this? Huh. Non stop moving, freeze. Do not stop moving. Coming into alternating legs. Reverse lunge. In three, two, one. Right away, right from here. You're stepping back. Reverse chest, lunge. Chest is upright. Your leg is stepping back to a 90 degree angle. So both legs hitting that 90. Don't lean back as you're stepping back, you're gonna lose that balance. So you just wanna step back, hit that 90. Don't hit your knee into the ground. Just keep it above the ground. Nice and loose right there. Easy, slow. Don't rush this, okay? I want you to engage your quads, engage pants your hamstrings. Pants are falling down, the pants are falling down. Oh my God, what's happening? Good thing I remember to wear underwear today. <laughs> Usually I don't wear underwear. It's a good thing. Look at him. 
This is a new <laughs> way of stripping down. I gotta hop, hop on one leg at least. I'm still moving. Hop, 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 hop. <sighs> and lunge. I'm going. Hop, hop, hop. Don't stop moving. No matter what, I don't care what happens. Don't stop moving. Now listen up. A crisscross jacks with arms now coming up. We didn't do arms, we did just the legs. So we're gonna add the arms. In three, two, one. You're gonna start with wide your arms, wide your feet. As, as you're going, you're alternating your arms and your legs. So most likely, I hope you coordinated enough. Your right arm is at the same time with your right leg in front. Open up your chest, wide, jump in, jump out. Listen guys, if you cannot do this exercise, you can, there is always an modification, it just almost hit your head. So no jumping. You can go slow like this, just like this, but you keep on moving with us, all right? Nobody's quitting. This is never stop moving workout. I'm just showing you modification right here. Werewolf, were you werewolf for the workout, Tyson? Or who are you today? Werewolf, werewolf. You, it's coming up for you. Push ups in three, two, one. Push ups. <laughs> I'm holding one arm position right here. Chest all the way to the floor. Feet together. The Into the nose down, out the mouth, and you come up. So look, guys, I cannot use my right arm. I cannot rest on it. So I have to come up either with a different exercise, or if I can, just holding this one. So if you see me modifying or doing different things throughout the workout, it's because I cannot put the arm on the ground. The arm has not been recovered. So you following those two, and I have to make up my own exercise, keep on moving. Squat thrust in three, two, one. Squat thrust, so he's giving you the warning, so you know the exercise coming up. So you're jumping out, jumping back in. So you never have to stop moving. Squat down, jump back, jump in, stand up. Down, back, in, up. Modify if you need to. Just walking one leg back at a time. Stand up tall every time. Jump back to that full push up position. Abs are strong. Never stop moving. When you're down, you're up. When you're up, you're down. single dumbbell. Get your single dumbbell in three. Squat and rush your ass over like the boys doing. There Two, go. one, go. Single dumbbell shoulder press. Palm in press. That's all you need right now. Right arm. There's just going to be a few of them. You're going to switch to the left arm in three, two, one. Switch. We don't switch on one, freaks. We switch on zero. You don't cut short me on that last rep. When the cashier is giving your money back in the store. When you're allowed to go inside fucking stores. When they give me your money back in the store. You don't let them stop when they got a dollar left in their hand. 
So don't stop the set when there's still one second left. Right arm bicep curl in three, two, one, go. Bicep curl. Curl it. Curls for the girls. Pump it. Elbow stuck to your side. Breathe out when you're squeezing it up. In through your nose down. In through your nose down. Oh, we got a long way to go. Early. Very early. Don't forget, we're not stopping moving. I'm going to come check you out while we're curling. Switch to the left arm curl. In three, two, one. Switch to the left arm. Left arm bicep curl. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. Fisher, what's up? He's doing this fitness test today. Jump in here and do the fitness test both. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Left arm curl. We're going to squat with the weight in your right arm only. Squat with the weight in your right arm in three, two, one, you know the exercise, switch and start it. Squat, the weight in your right arm. Because we cannot stop freaking moving. Lift the nose down, breathe it out. Brace those abs. By the way, I took off the pants so far in the sweatshirt, so you owe me two Thanksgiving bucks. Two Thanksgiving dollar bills. Send over the singles to 666 Main Street. Drive it up. And then another switch. It's a left arm squat in three, two, one. Switch, left arm squat, left arm squat. Should be getting nice and warmed up by now. Heart rate should be up there by now. Legs are starting to work. In the nose, breathe it. Drive, drive, drive. You're gonna go right arm, curl the press coming up. Right arm, curl the press. In three, two, one. One, did it say switch? I don't forget, I forget what we're on. We gotta start all over again. Oh, no. Curl the press, go, right arm, go, switch. Curl the press, palm in, right arm. What the? Uh, now the Russians throwing uh, shit at us. Uh, Helga back there is throwing dumbbells at us. Wait, who's Helga? I don't know. Me. Sounds like a Russian weightlifting name. <laughs> Drive it, curl the press, palm in. Curl, press. Drive it, squeeze the bicep, press the shoulder, resist the shoulder, resist the bicep. Throw it up there. Switch into left arm, curl the press. In three, two, one. Zero. Switch. Left arm, curl the press. Get it in, keep it moving. Curl, press. Drive it up there. Breathe it out. Spit it out. I just spit a whole faucet all over the place. I think it hit all nine cameras that are recording right now. Each one got a nice good goober of spit, snots and sweat and tears and puke and whatever else is gonna come out. Drive it up. Breathe it, shoot it. Don't be a punk, don't be a little punk, keep rolling. You'll be laying on your back for just a right arm chest press. I'm just gonna adjust the camera. I'm gonna switch hands so I can adjust the camera so Facebook can see the floor for this one. Right arm chest press in three, two, one, go. On your back. I think Facebook can see me. Chest press, go, right arm. This is lightweight, so you should be pumping this out. You have a pretty light dumbbell for a chest press. So get these reps in. Breathe, shoot it. Switch it to left arm in three, two, one, left arm chest press. Go. You're going to start getting your double exercises, you two. I used up some basic ones already. Breathe it. Breathe it. I'm sure you can repeat stuff we did on the body weight now because it has dumbbell. Throw it up. Throw it up. Then you're going to go back to right arm while you're lifting your left leg in the air. Right arm press with left leg lift. So straighten your left leg out. Switch. Right arm press. Left leg lift. Go. Throw it up. It's only been about 20 minutes, not even. How much shit you can get done if you don't stop, you don't bullshit, you don't sip your jug of water, you don't walk around and talk and chit chat. We're not here for social hour. We're here for freaking work. We're here to burn some freaking.
carrot cake off, whatever the hell you're gonna eat. Pumpkin pie, switch, left arm, and right leg in three, two, one, go. Left arm, right leg. Left arm, right leg. Press with a straight leg lift. Dig, 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 keep it tight. We're going back to right arm press. Both legs are gonna flutter kick in three, two, one, go. Right arm press, palm in on this. Palm in while you're flutter kicking. Right arm press. When we switch, obviously there'll be left arm press for flutter kick. When I call it, I didn't call it yet, so keep pumping right arm, press with flutter kick. Switching to left arm in three, two, one, switch, left arm, press with flutter kick, go. Russian, you're up, Russian, you're up, what do we got? We're standing up for a reverse lunge left and right arm bicep curl in three, two, one. I'm call it again. The reverse lunge on your left, bicep curl on your right. Look, one count. As you're gonna step back, switch the camera. You're gonna bicep curl, right arm, left leg, guys. This is opposite. Think, think, think. We gotta think. So Me. stepping back. Go reverse lunge. It's a one count. So if the leg hits and you have a curl right here, okay? And again. Step, curl at the same time. Pay attention, we are on the left leg, right arm. I told you I am modifying, so I'm not lifting the dumbbell. So imagine, imagine you have a dumbbell right here. All right, deep breath in and exhale. Right there, get in sync, get in sync. Work on that right glute, strong, both legs 90 degrees. We're gonna switch into the right leg, left arm, in three, get ready, two, one, go, left arm, right leg, you gotta get to the dumbbell. You little piece of clothing is coming off. He's tripping. I want another dollar. He's tripping. Get it's, some money. It's no longer freezing. How is everybody doing over California. here? Ha. It's gonna snow today. Shoulders back, chest out. I hope you guys are working out, not just watching. Watching is not gonna get you anywhere. Pump it, pump it. Keep it rolling, freaks. There is no break. There is no stopping. It's constant movement the entire time. Shoulders back, palm is up. Let's do this. Right leg, left arm. Get in sync with that breathing, okay? Every set is an abdominal set. So just because we're working on our legs and arm, don't forget about your abs. Get ready, because we're gonna be switching to our left leg reverse lunge and right arm overhead press. It's still one count in three, two, one. You're stopping back with left arm, right arm, overhead press. So look, left leg stepping, right arm overhead. So it's still the same one count. You see how we getting into a one count? So bam, right here. So a lighter dumbbell, right? Would be easier if you have something heavy. We wanna hit that one count. Look what's happening with your arm, shoulder, forearm extension and that core getting kicked right here. This is yeah, tight. It's easy to have us do this for such a long amount of time when you're lifting air in your hand. Quiet back, on set. We're back here it's slanging recording. steel. Quiet and up there chit chatting who's on Oprah this recording. week. The bold men don't shut up. Come on. You know, pump it. The the you all pump it. You all pump it. You all pumping because we gotta switch to the other leg. Keep those abs tight, guys, because object overhead, you gotta protect your lower back, right? Core tight, abs tight, glutes tight. We're gonna switch on the other side in three, two, one. Quick switch, I gotta get my dumbbell, right? 
go, go, go. Boom, right here. So left arm, right leg, one count. So don't just step back and then press. It's at the same time. So I'm gonna show you sideways. You see, it's a one count. I want everybody to practice Earn the this pie. Today. Earn the pie. Screw the pie. You didn't earn no pie. This workout is just the beginning. <sighs> or do the workout and then still don't have the pie, and you get double the results. Amazing. What are we doing? Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge and over her press. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> I don't know what this was. Ha. Go, go, go. A few more. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pump strong. We're going to switch to alternating. Reverse lunges, holding the dumbbell in front of you, just to finish off in three, two, one, holding both hands. Go, 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 right here. Activation of the bicep. I most likely will drop this. Oh. My right arm yeah, will activate not. Activate that bicep with the air, sure. Let us activate the bicep still holding this damn weight, and you activate the air. That's People bullshit, blowing. this is bullshit. I have a T-Rex for a week with the right arm. Sorry guys, gotta hold it as much as you can. Minutes Look, I can just hold it right here for you. There you go. Hold it, hold it. Tight elbow, bicep, shoulders back, not rest the dumbbell on your chest. This should be hovering right here. So that's how you're gonna feel in your bicep, right? Your shoulders, the front of your shoulders gonna work. Breathe. We just stepping back, alternating the legs. One leg at a time, okay? Werewolf, do you get it? You have your exercises down? Yes. All right, you're taking over in three, two, one. Werewolf is up. What we have? We're doing ball. bent over row, right arm in three, two, one, go. Are you in the camera? Move a little bit. Seriously? It's such a hard workout. You have light weight, you should be going fast reps here. Squeezing your core and pumping it out. So keep that back straight, guys. That left leg should be slightly bent. Your back is fully extended straight. Don't round your back like this. Please, everybody, check your posture. Not like this. Back is straight. You should be at around 45 degree angle. If you would have both legs and look, bam, you're stepping with the other one and you are in a perfect position for that. Hold it, Don't stand up. Don't stand up. Hey, she's speaking. Okay. We're doing left arm bent over row. Three, two, one. Stand up and switch. Go, 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 everybody. Pay attention to that back, okay? Yeah. Right knee is bent. Row it. Squeeze it. Tighten up that bicep and that tricep. Don't let that arm be loose. The arm is working both ways when you're going down and up. How are we doing here? The Peak Freak family workout, Thanksgiving workout. Never Some stop moving. Place. We're going to do squat thrust to corner press in three, two, Charm. one. Switch yeah. arms, right arm. Squat thrust, curl to press. Ooh, yeah. Squat thrust, curl to press. You're still lifting air. I'm trying to keep up with you guys on the right arm. T-Rex arm still can work here. Can't do squat thrust. Can't rest that arm. Can't risk it. Keep on moving. You guys don't need to jump. Listen up. You can just walk that squat thrust. Tyson, on the next one, please show the walking squat thrust. For some of the people that cannot, please show the walking squat thrust. 
right there you are fine right there where you are just walk the squatters like he is doing okay but you see how he's stepping with his feet wide so squat wasp it says frosting feet that's why you need to keep going right into squat first okay we're gonna do squat, squat dice curl and press left arm in three two one go <sighs> Those. Pay attention to your abs. Abs will protect your lower back. Remember that. Don't flop around. Control your dumbo. The ball guy, you're up next. You're going to need your medicine ball for the next round. Make sure it's near. You're ready to grab it. Do a regular ball slams. Three, two, one, go. Ball slams. That's mine. That's yours. Here, it's right Ball slams. Tyson, right there. Reach up. Smash it. Put a hole in the ground. You really, at this point, shouldn't even be able to comment or like or share because there is no breaks. Unless you are not working out with us, then of course share and comment. But guess what? This workout you should complete later on today or tomorrow, whatever, whenever you have the time. We're going to a jack press up. In three, I'll show it to you first. It's here. Feet jump apart. Ball goes up. Three, two, one, go. Jack press up. Feet go apart. Ball goes up. Keep rolling. Jack press up. Breathe out as you push up. We're going on your back, on the floor. Chest press to flutter kick. In three, two, one, go. Hit the floor. Chest press, flutter kick. Both arms on the ball, go. Pump it out, it's a light weight. Fast pace. Don't grow, just press it and go fast. You're going kneeling slams. Coming up, when I call it, kneeling slam on your knees. Without bashing your knees. Kneeling slams in three, two, one, go. Kneeling slam. Ha. Smash it down, then pop right back into your hand. So don't let your hands go way off the side. Here. Look. Smash it. We're going jacks, just holding the ball overhead, coming up. Remember all the variations I did, because then you can do other variations. Like I did your jack press out, I did your front and back jack press out. And your jump slam, twist slam. Remember everything I didn't do. Squat this slam. So we're gonna do jacks holding the ball straight overhead. In three, two, one, go on your feet. Just holding it straight up overhead. Jacks. Bouncing your step. Rushing. You are up. Doesn't need to go right away. 
explain the next exercise so we can finish this exercise off. Go. Right, we're gonna do a squat with the slam overhead. So we one count, we're gonna squat and slam that ball just like this as they're going, as they're going. You're gonna bring your arms overhead, squat and slam, and the goal is to catch that ball, okay? Do not, not catch the ball. You gotta catch the ball in three, two, one. Go, slam it, arms fully extended overhead. So if you slam hard enough, that ball will come right into your arms. Listen, I am modifying, remember, I just have to do whatever I have to do. Watch them with the technique. Bring your arms fully extended overhead, and you're gonna slam that ball as you're squatting down. Do you hear me? As you're squatting down, you gotta blast it through that slam, keep on moving. Go, 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 keep on going. A few more times. We're gonna be getting ready into squat and toss. In three, two, one, squat and toss. So you're squatting and you're tossing the ball and you're catching. I shouldn't even approach this one. I'm just gonna keep on pretending I have that ball. Go, pump your legs. Listen, pump it. Don't catch that ball. Standing up. I want that non-stump pump right here. Go. You're pretending to have a ball out there, freaks. You also better be pretending to eat those mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie later. Better be pretending. Listen, you keep on going eating that pumpkin pie, you're gonna be round like that pie. Just picture yourself as that pie. Go, pump it. We are not done yet. We're gonna be getting ready only to one side slam with a rotation. Keep on going, you are not stopping. We're gonna go from right here, slam to your left. You're gonna catch that ball. It's 90 degree angle. You're gonna bring it back to center. Again, arms will go overhead. You're gonna slam it only to your left. In three, two, one, let's do this. Slam it, catch it. Go, I'm just gonna be right here to the side, pretending <laughs> that I'm slamming. We're, We're a bunch of bullshit. We can't feel our arms. You guys are doing eight things this in a row overhead. But you're just gonna pretend. This is a bullshit. It is a bullshit. Like Worked out so hard. Pick stuff you can that do then. Are you complaining over here? Well, you should pick stuff you can do, but then you can't do this. You also can't do the stuff we're doing, so you should pick stuff you know at least you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Limited time offer. <laughs> Slam it! I can only do one arm. There you go. We're gonna be getting ready to the other side. In three, two, one, go. We gotta finish. And then the werewolf will take over, right? Werewolf bend your knees when you actually slam it. How's werewolf? Hi. How are you werewolf? I don't know. What's today? He doesn't want to be a pie. Go, slam it. So look, the legs are bending. Bring that ball up and over. Don't reach for the ball like this. You gotta use your legs. Anything that's picking up from the ground, when you pick up from the ground, it's using your legs. Don't just go like this. All right, slam it, hit it, pick it up. Slam it, hit it, pick it up. We're almost there. Werewolf, you're taking over in three, two. What do you mean? Just he's taking over. You're not counting his takeover. Go. So we're doing twist slam, left arm to regular slam to right arm twist slam. So he got it after me. Nice. And over. Good job. So middle every time? Yeah. So middle. middle left, middle right. Middle, left, middle, right. Let's combine the two slams we've already done, putting them together.
we're going to do bent over row with the medicine ball in three, two, one, go. Bent over row with the medicine ball. Reset yourself if you have to. Stand up straight. That's the reset. Is it's just standing up straight, extending through the hips. You're moving. Don't stop moving. All right, guys. You come on, come on. Come on. We're going to do split jack press up. In three, two, one, go. All right, what is split jack press up? How's it go? Explain. So, you don't pause. You press up while you're doing split jack. Split jack. You do right leg in front, then left leg in front. Keep on going. Right leg okay, in back. Okay, we are back. We're going to pause for a second. Hello. Feet go front to back. So look at his feet. That's a split jack yes, feet. Yes, we jumping. And I'm still moving here. Split jack feet while pressing up. Split jack press up. They see stay a little bit more because they don't see. Yeah, and here. So go, guy. You're up next. So go without, without the ball. Dump the ball. You're going to push up to shoulder tap. So push up, shoulder tap right. Push up, shoulder tap left. Three, two. One, go. Push up, shoulder tap. And your arms are nice and fried. So push up, left hand taps right shoulder. Push up, right hand taps left shoulder. Push, tap, push, tap. I see your hands, fix your hands. Don't go here. Couple more. Work through it. Suck it up. Modify before you stop. Die before you quit. We're going to reverse lunge, the front kick, right leg only. So right leg will step back, then the right leg will kick forward. Three, two, one, go. So right leg is stepping back for a lunge, and then it kicks forward. Steps back, kick forward. If someone's in front of you, boot them in the ass. <laughs> Shoot him in the leg! <laughs> you know, it's good self-defense tactics that if someone's coming at you, you shoot, shoot him in the leg! And then you miss and they take your gun from you and they beat you to death with your own gun. But that's besides the point. <laughs> we'll get into those self-defense tactics on another video. <laughs> Boom. So you could plant your foot in between after the kick to reset and then lunge, or you can kick, step lunge, kick, switching to left leg in three, two, one, go. We look at the clock for. Who said we're still going for only an hour? We're going longer. Oh no. So left leg steps back, and then left leg kicks. Reverse lunge. Front kick. Abs are tight. Your energy's starting to fade here. You need to start focusing a little more on your technique, your control. We're going on our back. Single leg leg drops. So both feet will be up in the air. You'll drop one leg to the floor, lift it up. Once it's up, you drop the other leg to the floor. Going three, two, one, go. On your back. So both legs up in the air. Drop one down, bring it up. Consciously squeeze your abs. Don't just go through the motion. One taps, bring it up. Tension on your core the whole time. We're going low plank. Shoulder taps coming up. So your hand actually comes off the floor to tap the opposite shoulder from the low plank position. So you just gotta roll your ass over. 
Three, two, one, go. Low plank, shoulder tap. So we're here, low plank position. Hand comes off the floor to tap your shoulder. Off the floor to tap your shoulder from the low plank position. We got power squats coming up. That's a pop, pop, drop coming up. And then high plank shoulder taps after that, just so you know. Power squats. What? Going in three, two, one. You're up, up on your feet. So power squat is pop, pop, drop out. Ooh, tripped on the open floor. We got to fix these floors. Pop, pop, drop. Up, up, drop. You got high plank shoulder taps coming up. And then pop squats, then plank walk, shoulder taps. Where you do shoulder taps low and shoulder taps high. So we're going high plank shoulder taps in three, in two, in one. Go. So push up position, shoulder taps. Right hand taps left shoulder. Control it. You can go slow, fast, whatever speed you want, doesn't matter. Just keep tapping. As long as you're moving, it's all freaking matters. Suck it up, sucker. So we got pop squats coming up. It's just like the power squat, except there's one pop in the middle. When you squat down, your right hand touches the floor. Then you pop once in the middle, squat down, and your left hand touches the floor. Pop squats in three, two, one, go. Pop squats. Pop, right hand. Pop, left hand. Pop, right. There it is, breathe out. Don't lean over the waist too much, head up. Chest out. We have plank walk shoulder taps coming up. So you do two shoulder taps low, then you walk up to the push up position, two shoulder taps high. We're doing that in three, two, one, go. So shoulder taps, high, high, walk down to your forearms, shoulder tap low, low. Back up high, tap. Does anyone else have anything you want to finish with? I am going. Let's see. Well, because okay. we're near the end, we have to do a cool down still. So, okay. do you have stuff after this? Yes. So funny. It should be Corish or on the floorish. Oh, or at the end. Yes, I do have a yeah. Tap. Tap. Down low. Tap. Russian, you're next. Winding yeah. things down. Yeah, winding things down. Well, we're supposed to go a little bit in the standing. You want only floor? Floor only? Alright, flip over. We're gonna go into the bridges right here. Seriously? Look, we're gonna do a bridge. Bridge. I hope everybody can see me. Bridging up. And then left knee tuck. Right knee tuck. Go down, bridge up. Right knee tuck first. Left knee tuck. Go down, but do not rest your glutes on the floor. Listen up, this is just a lowering down. That's it. That pause for a second when you're lifting one leg up. The other part is on fire. You gotta drive that knee as hard as you can, but don't just drop it down low. Just control that leg. Listen, that's right there where your glute is engaging. So go down, come up, lift, and lift. Yes, keep on alternating those sides. Squeeze. Breathe out each time you bring that leg up. Go down and come up. Oh yeah, glutes on fire. Nice work. We're gonna hold that bridge position in three, two, one. Hold that bridge position. Hold it, hold it. Hands are off the ground. You can bring them up or rest them on your belly right there. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your hamstrings. Tight, tight, When you're done, send tight. Tight. you gotta finish her for us. Tight, tight, tight. We're gonna finish off with four count. Leg raise and drop in three, two, one. Lower yourself down to the ground. Lower back, pressed against the floor. Lift your head off the ground. Look, we're gonna start up. Right
right leg down, left leg down, right leg up, left leg up. Now left start, left, right, left, right. Now right, right, left, right, left. Switch slowly. Legs should not be resting on the floor unless you have to be modifying and lifting one leg at a time. That's fine, you know your body. Tyson is taking over. Let's go. Oh, let's get it. Let's go. Come on, bro. All right. So we're going to do squat rest to two push-ups nope. to four shoulder taps to two plank jacks. You're going to go into the squat position, come back in, two squat jumps, and four jumping jacks. Whoa. Oh. Pull oh, it out. I'll nice. do it. Call us through. Walk us through it. Yeah, walk us through it. Squat thrust. Two push-ups, four shoulder taps, two plank jacks, plank jacks, jump back in, two squat jumps, four jumping jacks. Walk him through again. If you have it, if you have it down, go at your own pace. If not, he's going to walk him through it again. Squat thrust, two push-ups, four shoulder taps, two plank jacks, Come back in, two squat jumps from squat position, and four jumping jacks. You call it every time, call it every time, just like that. Squat thrust, two push ups, four All shoulder down, jacks, up. two plank jacks. Come back in, two squat jumps from the squat position, four jumping jacks. Three more, three more times, three more, and we're done. I'm going to see them. Shoulder taps. Yeah, the other location is done. Two high jacks. Come back in. Two squat jumps. Four jumping jacks. Two more. Two more. Squat thrust. Two push ups. Four shoulder jacks. Two high plank jacks. Two jump squats. Explode up. Four jacks. Last one. Squat thrust. Two push ups. Four shoulder taps, two plank jacks. Come in, two squat jumps, four jumping jacks. Time! Yeah. And we are, are done. Done, freaks. Listen up. This is very, very serious to tell you. If you have water, sip it now. Sip your water. Because I need some free water. Or actually, it's my Herbal Life and True Lean post workout concoction. If you want to know what's in the secret concoction, put a message below. We'll get on the phone with you and tell you all about the different possible concoctions for pre workout, post workout. We combine Herbal Life and True Lean, and it kicks freaking ass. I guess I'm very serious to talk to you about and let's bring it in got all these cameras all right so I see a lot of times on the weekends right or it was someone's birthday or it was Halloween or it's a holiday or whatever it is it's fucking flag day it's national squirrel recognition day in Guatemala we find a reason, an excuse, to eat shit, to miss our workout, to get off of our routine. And it's on the weekend a lot of times, or on freaking Thanksgiving late today, and then Monday morning, or the day after, you go post it on Facebook, oh my God, I feel disgusting, I fell off the routine, all this stuff, and you have all your friends there to lift you up. And it's so inspiring. They say, don't worry champ, you just keep going, you move on. Don't beat yourself up over the past. It's just one day. Move forward, buddy. That person is doing you a fucking disservice when they tell you that. They should tell you shame on you for making an excuse again like you did the last weekend and the weekend before that and the weekend before that. So I'm here to tell you the things that you need to hear, not the things you want to hear. Because that's bullshit when people tell you, oh, just get over it, it's just one day. Because it probably wasn't just one day. It's probably a habit. It's a consistent thing. And when you have people enabling you 
and telling you it's okay, you'll be fine, just start fresh now, and then in two days later they're telling you, oh, just start the same bullshit again. Those people do not have your best interest. That's not what, that's just someone that's going to be your yes man around you. Your friends, your family, your coworkers, people that you, your, your team members, your superiors, your subordinates, those are not the people that are going to tell you the things you need to hear. They're going to tell you the shit you want to hear, because that shit is bullshit when they tell you all this uplifting stuff. And if you don't like that idea, then that's just two bags. That's the way it is. Because that's the way to get, get people into bad habits, to think they can do it. And, oh, I'm still going to have all the support of all my friends and the people who really care. Those people are just telling you some automated shit that comes out of their head. Like, oh, don't worry about it. It's just one day. But it probably wasn't just one day. And it's probably been a habit. And probably they've been enabling that habit and, and justifying your habits. And now you think it's okay to keep going. It's not okay to keep doing that. Like, I don't give a shit if today's Thanksgiving. Stay on your routine. Hit your same number of macros. Because if you have goals, listen, the fat in your body does not give a fuck that it's Thanksgiving. It doesn't even know that. It doesn't care that it's a holiday. You think your future grandchildren that you want to be having a tug of war with on the beach one day when you're 70, 80 years old? You think those future grandchildren, those unborn future grandchildren give a damn that today's Thanksgiving? They don't give a shit. They want that old ass person to have energy and strength decades and decades from now running around the beach keeping up with them. So stop making these excuses. Oh, it's just today. It's oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, you got to live a little. Fuck that. You gotta live a little. By doing this shit is how you're gonna die a lot, not live a little. Do it having these bad habits. So that's the way you need to be thinking about this and approach this stuff. And when you go to someone's party today or house, you have family member over and they tell you, oh, it's Thanksgiving, you gotta live a little. Oh, you're too serious. Fuck that. Tell them that you're too undisciplined. That's what you tell them. Or you're going out to, with, with a, a, an office work dinner or whatever and you're, you wanna close that deal with that high ticket client. Close that big deal you've been working on for months. And they're, they're that close to closing it and you're sitting there at the dinner at the bar and they're saying, oh, let's have a drink. And they start drinking. They're, having their, they're on their second, third drink. And they're telling you to have a drink and you're like, fuck, if I, I, wanna, I really want to please them. So I'm going to go have a drink. And then you're going to have another and another because you're a people pleaser. Do you really think that if you don't have that fucking drink that that deal is going to fall through? Hell no. So quit bullshitting. Stop making excuses. I don't care what the situation is. You are in control. These are your decisions. This is shit you control. No freaking Thanksgiving because, all right, so a bunch of pilgrims supposedly landed somewhere and probably killed a bunch of Indians. Who even knows what happened? You're going to go eat and lose and, and, and not even be able to have tug of war on the beach your grandson. Yes, that's how your brain needs to work. That's how you need to work, work through things. By doing this shit today, you're screwing that shit up for tomorrow. That's the way you got to think about it. So don't bullshit. Don't make excuses. And let me tell you, if you earn something, if you earn that one piece of pumpkin pie, that one little sliver, if you earned it, Knock yourself out. Do what you got to do. But you know if you earn that shit or not. You know what it's going to take to get that off. Because let me tell you, one bad food kills a, a healthy meal. One bad food, right? Because people have their cheat days, their cheat meals. Bullshit. I don't believe in cheat days or cheat meals anyway. Cheating? You want to cheat on your discipline? You want to cheat on your life? You want to cheat on your future grandchildren? Fuck that. A cheat. Just think of the word cheat meal. Hell no. Hell no. Zero. Zero cheats. That's why you need to think about it. But if you earned a reward, that's a different story. That's a freaking different story if you earn a reward. That little sliver of the pumpkin pie. But then you know what it's going to take to, to, to burn that back off. And you're understanding, all right, I'm having this pumpkin pie. This means I'm going to kill like two days of freaking training because of the calories I'm going to put in. Whatever, pumpkin pie, whatever the hell it is. I don't know. I don't even know how many calories are in that shit. But think about it. One bad food kills an, a good meal. One bad meal kills an entire healthy day. One bad day kills a whole weekend. So a bad day today will kill. You won't recover for this till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when you would really recover from today. Don't think, oh, I could just go an extra 20 minutes on the treadmill tomorrow. Fuck that. Not even an extra hour. How many calories you burn a jogging an hour on a treadmill? And you're probably not jogging an hour anyway, because that's a pretty long time to jog. If you're just jogging an hour on a treadmill, you're not even getting a thousand calories. You're getting a few hundred calories. So don't believe all this bullshit and all this apps that tell you, oh, I burned 1,800 calories while I was walking my dog. It's fucking bullshit. All right? So then realize that. A bad weekend, say you go on a weekend, I'm just going to splurge for the week, I'm going to let loose. And you have a bad weekend, a long weekend, a Friday, or a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Literally, it can take you three or four weeks to recover from that shit. That's how serious it is. Because think about it. When you're wolfing down a, a cheeseburger and you're sucking that thing down, how long does it take to, to vacuum that in your freaking pie holster? It takes like, what, like a, a couple minutes to put it down. That's going to take you two hours on the treadmill to burn off, at least. Not even, and that's just the calories, not even the fat. You're not even going to get into the fat. The fat's just going to keep storing on and on and on. So I want you to keep this stuff in mind. You need, this is shit you need to hear. The real, raw shit you need to hear before you go sit down at that table today. And if it offends you, what I'm saying, you probably need to replay this and listen to it over and over and over again and actually put a little earbud in your fucking ear while you're sitting down there at Thanksgiving today. 
and just keep listening to this over and over when someone's trying to tell you to go have this and have that and you're too serious. Tell them, no, no, sucker, you're just not disciplined enough. You're not serious enough. They tell you you're too serious. No, you're not serious enough. They tell you you got to live a little. You tell them you got to live a lot or you're going to die a lot. That's what you got to tell them. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Have fun eating your protein today, your turkey, your protein shakes. That's all you should be having. Maybe have splurge with some fruits, a nice bowl of fruits. That's the way you should be thinking about it. Your salad. Maybe if you've been good, you have a couple chunks of cheese. Wild. You're wild. When your cheat meal is a blueberry, you know you're freaking serious and disciplined. you got some serious goals for the future. That's when you know you're locked on, laser beam focused. When your cheat meal is a bowl of freaking blueberries. That's what I'm going to have to say. I'm going to have a big fat bowl of blueberries today. <laughs> Loaded in carbs and sugar. Because that's laser beam focused. That's going to make me wake up tomorrow and attack the fucking day. And hit some goals. And have some energy. And get another great workout in. And make some damn money. That's what it's going to make me do. So anyway, keep this in mind when you're sitting down and you're asking your chair to stay at your table with all your friends and family members are telling you to live a little. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. And I'm sure a little freak show has something he wants to tell you. They can't see me on Facebook. Whatever. Perfect. Jump. Midget. No! Excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where it gets from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. No excuses.